Hey y'all, welcome back to A Dinosaur in the Library. I'm Dawn. This is Vlogmas Day 16. So today I'm doing the book wish list tag and I 100% honestly cannot remember where I saw this and therefore cannot remember who created it. But I'm going to do my best to find that before I post it so I can put it in the box down below. If I don't list it and you know who created this tag, please let me know because I'm not trying to not tag them. I just can't remember where I saw that. Yeah. So the point of this tag is to look at your book wish list and answer a few questions about it. Well, the thing is that I have an Amazon wish list and I have a book specific one, but I don't update it that much. I just don't think about it. I am much more likely to go to Goodreads and add it to my to read stack than I am to go to Amazon and add it to my wish list. So what I did was I looked at my Goodreads wish list to or Goodreads uh, to read shelf to see uh, for the answers for these questions. So yeah, uh, the first question is book on your wish list the longest. And I, you know, went to my to read shelf and changed the uh, the way it's filtered. And the first book apparently that I added to my to read shelf. Uh, is Barbara King Solver's Prodigal Summer. I know it's been out for ages. I really want to read it because I've read the first book of hers I read was Bean Trees and I loved the Bean Trees. But I've also read the Poisonwood Bible and her nonfiction and I'm a fan of all of it. So I really don't know what Prodigal Summer is about or I knew at some point and I've forgotten but I do still want to read it because I love Barbara King Solver. So a uh, book on your wish list the shortest and the last thing I added to my to read shelf before doing this video is don't don't point that thing at me a Charlie Mordecai book by Carol Bonfiglioli and apparently this is from the 70s and there's been a recent movie with um or I don't know if the movie's out I can't remember if the movie has been out or if it's in production but I think it stars Johnny Depp and the trailer for the movie looked really interesting and then I found out it was based on books so I thought I might read the first one in that series so yeah uh third book currently on order I am broke right now I don't have any books currently on order um number four book or books you're getting for Christmas and hopefully I'm getting the Bizarre Bad Dreams by Stephen King um it's already out and I do not have it but yeah so there's a lot of books that are out that I don't have so it's not a new thing but hopefully I'll get that one or there's a newish book about Back to the Future, not the visual history one, which is like $50 and gorgeous and I want it, but there's another one that's just a nonfiction book about the movies and the making them and things like that. So I think that one's um, We Don't Need Roads, I think is the name of it. So yeah, one of those two. Uh, number five, most anticipated read on your wish list for this. I have two, of course. The first is Prayers the Devil Answers by Sharon McCrum, which I have talked about before. It's her newest ballad novel and it will be coming out I think in May. Um, I have it marked on my calendar, but I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But I think it's either March or May. And then the other one is Revisionary by Jim C. Hines, which is the fourth and final book in the Magic X Libra series. And I think it comes out February 2nd. Um, yeah. So number six, the most hesitant to read. And that would also be Revisionary by Jim C. Hines, specifically because it's the fourth and final book in the Magic X Libra series. I always hate it when my favorite series end. Um, I know that they have to come to an end at some point, but somewhere deep in my little heart, I, I think it can go on forever. I'm pretty sure Jim C. Hines would disagree with me on that. Um, number seven, the book on your wish list you know the least about. I didn't have an answer for this because yeah, I could sit here and I couldn't tell you the plot of every single one of those books, but I've read a little bit about them when I put them on my list. So I just didn't have an answer for this. And number eight, books you've added because of good reviews. So if you go to my Goodreads, there's an entire shelf called I Blame the Fabulous Jen and Holly. That's the name of the shelf. Because every time I watch videos by Jen Campbell or Holly over at Library at the Edge of the World, I have to keep my Goodreads open on my phone because they're constantly telling me about books that I want to read. Um, I don't think I've ever watched a bookish video of theirs um, and not added a book to my to read shelf. Maybe a couple here and there, but pretty much I'm, I'm going to add a book or more, sometimes quite a few, um, to my Goodreads to read list. So 
yeah, I blame them. And there are probably going to be more booktubers that I should add to the I blame list, but then the shelf tag would be too long, because so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But know that Jen and Holly are very much to blame for my exponentially growing to read pile. Um, and another thing that happens is I seem to watch a lot of British booktubers and I don't pay attention to that as much as I should. And then if I go to the bookstore and happen to have a little money to look for a book, I'll pull up my list and be like, oh, that's the book I want to look for today because I should be able to find it. It's fairly new and I can't find it. So I ask the person behind the counter and they're like, oh, the U.S. release date isn't until whatever. And then I realize, oh, the reason they have it is because they're in the U.K. So, yeah, I do that a lot. I don't remember that a lot of you are British and that I should be checking those dates. Fail on my part. So that is my uh, day 16 vlogmas video. So what is your most, um, let's see, not really anticipated, I guess. But what book on your wish list do you most want to receive for Christmas? We'll do that. Or whichever holiday you happen to celebrate. Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or Yule or just gift giving day, whatever you want to call it. So what book on your list do you most want to receive this year? And I hope that whatever that book is, you do receive it. It is under your tree or in your stocking or near your menorah or wherever you receive your gifts. And I hope that everybody is having an awesome week. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 17. Bye, guys.